Thank you guys. Welcome to the pain in the ass. <laughs> Welcome back to the Friday vlog series where it's actually Wednesday. I've just been for a magnificent ride with Neil Stanbury, who I'm coaching at the moment. Yeah, no, you've just murdered me on that one. I was supposed to be doing a zone two ride, but it's going well. It's going okay. well. I'm feeling like a cyclist again in part. That's good. And you're looking good too in the new kit. Mate, it fits like a glove. The Knicks are amazing. Yeah. Super happy. Yeah. Super happy. Nice. Yeah. And how many parts should we split this video into? Look, I was going to go with three. Yep. Yeah. But I've been convinced on the contrary. I'm going to go with two. <laughs> Is two the right number? <laughs> two. Yeah. So as you just saw, a lot has been going on behind the scenes. It's been a while since we've done a Friday vlog and I'll be discussing that in part two of this video, including off-bike strength training. And part number one, why I sold the Giant Propel in record time, for me anyway, and there's quite a funny story behind it. So before we get into part number one, I've been reading some comments recently under some of my videos and I've got a bit of a conspiracy theory going that there might be a couple of countries in the world where it's corporal punishment to watch my videos. For your cycling crimes against humanity, you will watch Cam Nichols' YouTube channel. Anything but Cam Nichols, anything but him. You will watch each video, every video, <laughs> from the very start to the very end. No! But in all seriousness, I think it's me that's caused the confusion. I haven't been clear to you the viewer, particularly new people that have joined the channel in recent times. Wednesdays is more sit down, formal, where we review bikes, and Friday, and I think this is where the confusion comes in, people watch the Wednesday videos, they subscribe, and then they see Friday, and they go, what's going on? He's dicking around, there's family, yes, there's bikes, but it's a bit more casual. So, the expectation I want to set is Wednesday formal, Friday casual. So let's get into part number one. So I am conscious I have mentioned or talked about this in detail in previous content, but I'm also aware not everybody watches my videos. So we sold the Propel as much as I enjoyed riding it because I purchased it for a sole purpose to get a good feel for what the tier two aero category is like. And when I say tier two, I'm talking about the frame set and the purpose of getting a feel for the tier two category, which included my testing on the Merida Reacto 6000. To wrap up this project, being my overall thoughts, my final review on the Windspace T1500. And stay tuned for a triple headed review coming your way within the next two weeks. And this strategy of buying and selling bikes that helps us sort of paint a picture or fill a gap like what we've done with the Giant Propel for the Windspace T1500 project is a strategy that I will be using moving forward, assuming I can get my hands on the bikes because even purchasing them is very hard these days. And I can do this now thanks to your support for you clicking my vids and watching them and also taking on board channel sponsors such as today's sponsor being Surfshark. Meet old mate. We can't show you old mate's face because he's a little different. What an idiot. This silly ad over here. What's this? An online casino? Get my credit card. As you can see, old mate's internet behavior is erratic. But what you may not be aware of is that old mate's privacy and security is covered using Surfshark's award-winning VPN. However, when old mate first heard about a VPN, he was a little skeptical. What the bloody hell is a VPN? Good question. Surfshark's VPN encrypts your internet traffic and disguises your online identity, making it very difficult for third parties to track your activities online and steal your data. That's bloody magnificent. Thus, you can also be safe on public Wi-Fi's with Surfshark while unlocking the major Netflix country libraries and old mate's favorite Surfshark's protection means that nobody can find where you're connecting from. Thus, you can find the best deals. Looky what we have here, a hundred bucks less. Check out the link below and enter the promo code CAMNICALS to get your 83% off with three months extra for free when you sign up to the 24 month plan. So I put the Giant Propel online on two separate Facebook groups that are sort of local so I didn't have to pack it in a box and send it away for $4,800, which is $500 less than what I paid for it a few months ago. And literally within 24 hours, I reckon it was about the 20 hour mark, it was sold. 
There was no negotiation, no nothing, which just goes to demonstrate how hard it is to get your hands on bikes at the moment. And the person that purchased it picked it up within 48 hours. And this is what he had to say about how he funded his purchase of the Propel. I'm upgrading from a 2010 TCR. TCR? Yeah. Have you ever ridden disc brakes before? Nah, first one. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you, uh, you said you had an interesting way of affording the bike. Yeah, I had decided to go to a medical trial. <laughs> <laughs> For the bike, yeah, so that, that was a bit of fun. Okay, yeah, and you're feeling all right though? Oh, yeah, absolutely, okay. no problem at all. <laughs> we enjoy the bike, mate, appreciate it. Awesome, thanks, Cam. Cheers. So, Kerry made $4,500 from that medical trial, and the sole purpose of that trial was to fund himself a new bike, being the giant Propel. That is when cycling sits at the top of your priority list. So, love it, Kerry, well done, hope you enjoy the bike, and let's get into part two of this video. So part two of this video, I thought I would do it. I've got the cleaner here at the moment. My wife is working in my office sitting behind me. So I just showed her that. What a lovely day today. I just showed her that. And whatever you've got to do, it will it's be gonna be very disruptive. to be doing it with you. I just showed her that skit without any context and she didn't laugh and I was... Wondering whether I should put it in, but we've put it in. We'll see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> you blaming me. I'm going to blame you if it doesn't work <laughs> out. So, four things that I wanted to mention. Number one, you would have seen at the start, Neil Stanbury wearing the RCA kit. He's uh, joined the RCA and I'm training him at the moment. We've got a really, uh, people are finding it very interesting series over on the RCA channel. So if you're keen to see Neil Stanbury go from a very low level of fitness to a high level of fitness, I'll link to that RCA series uh, below. Over the past month, the reason why I've been a little bit quiet on the Friday vlog series is a lot has been going on. Number one is I've officially become a strength and conditioning coach, and that's why I've been in the gym with the Pro Racing Sunshine Coast team. Big shout out to Aaron Turner, who's the S&C coach for Pro Racing Sunshine Coast, for having me in the gym at Sunshine Coast Uni over the past month in order to get my practical hours up. A bit of cloud changing the light in this room, but anyway, we'll just keep moving forward. My wife, Alice, beautiful wife, took me away recently for my 40th birthday. Very grateful we could get away. We went internally inside Queensland to the Glasshouse Mountains, which, would you say it's a bushwalking district? Yeah. Yeah, we did lots of bushwalking. Probably the best part was we had three days without the kids, maybe four days, which was really, really nice, wasn't it? It's epic. <laughs> uh, and we did a grade five bushwalk, which we've never done before, which was actually really difficult, but super enjoyable. And I've had to ask my wife Alice to leave the room. She was becoming too distracting. The final thing I'll leave you with is, sadly, um, we had to say farewell to my Nana Nancy. Very fortunate to have her in my life for 40 years. She died at the tender age of 96. So very grateful to have her for so long, but it was very upsetting because I was super close to her, particularly as a young boy growing up in Adelaide. Fortunately, though, we're able to send her off well. We're able to get to her funeral up here on the Sunshine Coast, which happened last week. I'll leave you with some scenes now, and I'll catch you in the next video. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. Love is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth and so tenderly and reverently with deep affection and with great respect. We now commit the mortal remains of Nancy L.V. Nichols to the earth from which we all come, earth back to the earth, dust to dust. But in that sure knowledge that even though today her physical presence is leaving us, those special memories that we shared some of them in the chapel there, others those memories that are unique and precious and special to you will remain with you for the rest of your lives to cherish. And once again, we just simply say thanks, Nancy. Thank you for what you've meant to everyone whose lives you've touched so richly over the years. Thank you, Mark. Well done again. No, that's okay. That's